There's something incredibly magical about the way dogs interact with the world, and yet most of us walk around thinking we know exactly how they see it. We toss them red toys, dress them in cute outfits, take them for walks in parks filled with colors, and never stop to wonder, what does this all look like to them? The internet is full of bold claims. Dogs are colorblind. Dogs only see in black and white. But what if the truth is stranger and way more fascinating than those old myths? What if understanding how a dog sees the world could completely change how we interact with them? What if their entire experience of sight was built not for beauty, but for survival, emotion, and connection? This video dives deep into how dogs actually see the world. Not just their vision, but what it means to their minds and their hearts. You're going to see your dog in a whole new way, and maybe, just maybe, you'll feel a little closer to them. For decades, people believed that dogs saw the world in black and white, like a grainy old movie. This idea was based on science from nearly a hundred years ago, back when researchers didn't have the tools to properly test animal vision. They assumed dogs lacked something humans had, color-detecting cells in the eyes, called cones, and that meant no color. But we now know that's not true. Dogs do have cones, just fewer types than we do. While humans have three types of cones that let us see all the colors of the rainbow, dogs only have two. Think of it like this, where we can mix red, green, and blue to create all the shades of color we know. Dogs are working with just blue and yellow, so their color vision is like a limited palette. Uh, they can still see color, but it's a lot more muted. This is called dichromatic vision and it changes how they see almost everything. That red ball you throw in the yard? It probably looks like a dark gray blob. The green grass it lands on? Also grayish. No wonder your dog doesn't chase it right away. But if you swap that red ball for a blue or yellow one, suddenly it pops. It's like switching the lights on in their world. So yes, dogs can see color, but their world is bluer, yellower, and way less red than ours. It's not black and white. It's just different. To really understand how dogs see, we have to peek inside their eyes. Not literally, of course, but by understanding how they're built. The back of the eye contains something called the retina, which has two kinds of cells, rods and cones. Cones detect color and detail in bright light. Rods detect movement and help in low light. Dogs have way more rods than humans do. This makes their eyes amazing at picking up movement and seeing in the dark. But it also means they sacrifice some clarity and detail for that superpower. Imagine you're looking across a field and see someone standing 75 feet away. You can probably tell who they are. Your dog standing next to you might only see a vague figure unless they get within 20 feet. Their visual clarity is estimated at 2075, meaning their world is slightly blurry. But that blur doesn't slow them down because what their eyes are built for is motion. Quick movements, rustling leaves, a darting rabbit. That's what grabs their attention. And at night, dogs are practically superheroes, thanks to something called the tapetum lucidum, a reflective layer behind the retina. They can see in the dark far better than we can. That weird green glow in their eyes during night photos, that's the tapetum bouncing light back, giving them a second chance to see what's there. So dogs don't see the world with clarity or color the way we do, but they see what matters. Movement, threats, opportunity, and you. This isn't just interesting trivia. Understanding how dogs see can totally change how we treat them, train them, and even love them. Ever watched your dog bark at something far away and you squint and see nothing? They're not imagining things. That squirrel hiding behind a tree barely moving? Your dog saw it, or rather, saw the motion it made before your eyes even picked it up. Their brain is tuned to notice motion before detail, and that's rooted in their wild ancestors. A twitch in the bushes might have been food or danger. Either way, reacting fast meant survival. 
Now think about toys. How often have you thrown a red toy into green grass and watched your dog walk right past it? It's not because they're uninterested, it's because it blends into the background. Red and green both look like grayish brown to them. The toy is basically invisible. Laser pointers drive dogs crazy for a reason. Not because the light is fun or colorful, it's not even red to them. It's because the dot moves like prey, fast, sudden, unpredictable. Their brain sees it as something alive, something worth chasing. It taps into something ancient. All of this gives us a peek into their psychology. Dogs are not visual thinkers the way we are. They don't care much about patterns, shapes, or visual detail. What matters is what moves, what contrasts, and what interacts. That's their lens on life. Humans are visual animals. We notice color, texture, and small details. We decorate our homes, color coordinate outfits, and love sunsets. But dogs? Their version of reality is stripped down to essentials. When a dog walks into a room, they're not thinking, wow, wow, nice wallpaper. They're sensing things. A flicker of movement, a shift in light, a smell from yesterday's visitor. They don't analyze a scene, they react to it. Even the way they see people is, is different. Dogs don't rely on facial recognition like we do. Instead, they pick up on body language. Your walk, your posture, how you move your hands, that's what they remember. That's why your dog knows when you're sad, even if you try to hide it. Your shoulders drop, your breathing changes, your pace slows, and they feel that shift instantly. It's why some dogs panic when their owner puts on a hat or carries a suitcase. Those things change your shape, your silhouette, your routine. To a dog, you look different, and that's unsettling. They don't process the logic behind it. They respond to what they see or what they think they see. This is why understanding their vision builds empathy. It reminds us that our dogs aren't stubborn or distracted. They're just navigating a world that looks completely different to them. Now that we understand how dogs see, we can actually make smarter choices in how we raise and train them. Training a dog isn't just about what you say, it's about how you move. Dogs don't process long words or fancy instructions. They associate sounds with actions and actions with rewards. But visual cues, those matter, especially if they're simple, big, and consistent. If you wave your hand a different way every time you say sit, your dog might get confused. But if your body language is steady and repetitive, they'll pick it up faster than words ever could. Toys are another area where vision plays a big role. Next time you go shopping for a fetch toy, skip the red ones. Look for blues or yellows. They stand out against most natural backgrounds. Your dog will spot them faster and enjoy the game more. Even at home, this knowledge helps. Want your dog to use a specific area in the yard or run through an agility course? Use blue cones or yellow tunnels. Avoid red and green, they'll just fade into the scenery. Ever wondered why your dog doesn't seem scared of the dark? That's because dogs can see much better than us at night. This ability goes back to their wild roots. Wolves and early dogs hunted in dawn and dusk hours when prey was most active, so their eyes evolved to work well in dim light. That tapetum lucidum we talked about earlier reflects any available light, moonlight, streetlights, even starlight, back into their retina. This doubles their chance to see in darkness. It's why dogs can chase a raccoon at night or move confidently through a dark hallway. While we've spent this entire video talking about how dogs see the world, it's important to pause and realize something profound. Vision isn't even their primary sense. For humans, sight is everything. We rely on it for 90% of the information we take in. But for dogs, Sight is just a supporting actor. The real stars of their sensory world are smell and hearing. So even though a dog's color vision is limited, their perception of the world is incredibly rich, just not in the way we expect. Think about it. While you might walk into a room and immediately notice the furniture, the light, the color of the curtains, your dog walks in and immediately knows that Someone spilled coffee yesterday, that 
a neighbor's dog passed by the window, and that you've been stressed all day because your sweat smells slightly different. This multisensory intelligence rewires how dogs experience life. They don't rely on sight to identify objects or people the way we do. Instead, they piece together a mental map from thousands of cues we barely notice. Subtle sounds, emotional energy, body movement, and of course, scents. When combined, these create a detailed 3D model in their minds. So when you see your dog staring into the distance, it might not just be about what they see, but also what they smell, what they hear, and how they feel in that moment. In a way, their perception is more holistic than ours. They see not just with their eyes, but with their entire body and being. Here's something beautiful. Despite their limited color range and fuzzy long distance sight, dogs follow us, trust us, and often put their safety entirely in our hands. Why? Because Vision is not how they build trust. It's how we move, how we act, how we show up consistently every day that tells them, this human is safe. This human is mine. Dogs have learned to interpret humans better than any other animal. They can read the tiniest cues from our posture. They sense when we're nervous before we even say a word. And while they may not see our smile the way another person would, they feel it through our energy, hear it in our voice, and detect it in our breathing pattern. That kind of emotional attunement means more than sharp vision. It means dogs aren't just companions, they're emotional mirrors. And understanding how they see and don't see reveals just how deep that trust really runs. We don't need to look perfect to them, we just need to be present. So the next time you wonder, how your dog made it through a dark yard like a ninja, remember, it's not magic, it's biology. Let's wrap with something truly special. You may be wondering, with all this blurriness, lack of color, and limited detail, how does your dog actually see you? The truth is, probably not clearly, not your face, not your clothes, not your expressions, but what they do see is even more important they see your outline, your movements, your presence. They know the rhythm of your walk, the way your body sways when you're happy, the way you slump when you're tired. To a dog, you're a feeling wrapped in sound, smell, and motion, and that's why they love you so deeply. Your dog doesn't need to see your face perfectly to know it's you. They don't need to see red to feel joy. They see with their hearts. And that's something humans could probably learn from. So now that you know the truth about how dogs see the world, what are you going to do differently? Will you pick different toys, train with more movement, pay more attention to the way your dog looks at you, even if they can't see you clearly? Drop a comment below and tell us what surprised you most. Did you believe the black and white myth before? Have you noticed your dog ignoring red toys? Let's talk. And if you want more deep dives into how dogs think, feel, and see the world, subscribe right now, because this channel is all about building better connections between dogs and the humans who love them. Your dog sees you every day with their heart. Let's learn to see them the same way.